1930, Boston was celebrating its tercentenary, and the city put out a bunch of different brochures and pamphlets for people coming into the city to celebrate. And one of the pamphlets was a guide to Boston's transit system. And these transit maps are really interesting because you can see the way Boston's transit system has um, evolved and changed over the years. This is a picture of a trolley on East 8th Street in South Boston in 1940. So we can look at this map of the Boston Elevated Railway System, including subway lines, rapid transit, and then surface level lines. So in some cases, we have a much expanded transit system. Some of our lines are much longer now, and then some of our surface level lines have been changed into buses. So maybe those of you who've taken the Green Line have wondered why we have a B, C, D, and E branch, but no A branch. In fact, there did used to be a Green Line A branch this line right here. It used to end in Watertown. Uh, it opened in about 1896 and then it closed in 1969 and currently the 57 bus plays the role that the A trolley line branch used to play. Tracks were still on the street until the 1990s and you could still see them. This map just shows the rapid transit lines so you can see how much Boston's rapid transit system has uh, expanded since 1930. For example, you can see that this line ends in Harvard, and of course now this line would end in Alewife. You can also see that the blue line ends here, right after the tunnel, and of course now it goes out to Wonderland. So the yellow line is when the green line is in the tunnel. They didn't, it wasn't called the green line until, I think until the 60s. I would not swear to that. They used to consider the rapid transit different than the surface level, so even though the trolleys went above ground and continued the way they do now, they ended the rapid transit map in Kenmore, which is interesting.